sports up in front of one. Please believe me, the sports up in front of one. Just what you need is the sports up in front of one. If you in the green, now please be seated. Batista so I had to make this video when I first heard about it. So Batista came out, you know what I'm saying? And by the way, there's an article on this. I'll leave it in the in the description box. You know, there was an article about this. As a matter of fact, he came out and said it like two years ago, and I'm just now finding out about this, man. That goes to tell you how much I freaking fell off of wrestling, okay? But anyways, man, he came out and he said that John Cena killed wrestling. I'm like, oh, snap, at least I ain't the only damn one thinking of this, man. You know what I'm saying? Of course, there's other millions of people who, uh, well, I don't know about millions, but thousands of people, you know, that think the same thing. John Cena sucks. He can't wrestle, you know what I'm saying? And they want to see somebody else new. You know, but John Cena killed wrestling, and damn it, I agree with him. I agree with him, man. If you guys listen to the radio show, man, I always have him on my, we do this little segment called Who's Hot and Who's Not. I have to have John Cena on there. Have to have him on there. Have to. Damn, that guy sucks, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean oh, my God, this guy is cheesy as hell. He's a cornball. He's garbage, okay? And for all of you hardcore wrestling fans that think I'm on something, maybe I'm sniffing dry erase markers, maybe I'm smoking cactus needles, maybe I'm rolling up weed, marijuana, you know what I'm saying? Go on YouTube and see how many people hate John Cena. Man, that guy is freaking trash, okay? I'm not the only person that's, you know, you know that's saying this here. You know, and... He's killed it. You know what I'm saying? He's killed it, man. You know, and don't get me wrong, man. See, this is my whole thing. You know, he's great with the children. Okay, he's great with the children. Okay, I understand that. You know, and WWE, man, they said the hell with, you know, the hell with the hardcore fans like me and other people. The hell with them. We're going to appease the smaller crowd of people. People like, you know, like the little kids and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And that's why it's PG, man. I mean, goddamn, people. I mean, think to yourself when you watch pay per views. You know what I'm saying? You don't hear any cussing. You don't hear any. You you don't hear any foul language. I remember. I remember. Um, I believe it was Sable. She she showed her breast on live TV, man. What happened to the bra and panties match? You know what I'm saying? Talking about PG era wrestling. What happened to the bra and panties match, man? You used to have boobs bouncing up and down. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you used to see a little bit of ass. You used to see a little bit of boobs. You used to see breasts shaking. You know what I'm saying? It used to be off the chain, you know? You already know Jerry the King Lawler. Puppies! You know what I'm saying? People used to, people used to fight up in the mud bath and all this, man. You know what I'm saying? It used to be off the chain. And John Cena killed all of it. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying that he's the only person that killed it, but he killed most of it, okay? So let me backtrack. I'm sorry. He, he didn't kill all of it. He killed most of it. You also have Vince McMahon, and you also have Linda McMahon, you know, which decided to... Vince McMahon decided to dump down the company because she was running for Senate. You know what I'm saying? And she got she got her ass railroaded. She sucks, man. You know what I'm saying? She lost by a huge damn margin. You know what I'm saying? And if and if I had it my way, if I can talk to Vince McMahon and I can be like, you know, hey, EDP, how do you want to save the company of wrestling? Number one, fire John Cena. Fire him. Let's go back to the edgy, you know, let's go back to the uh, to the edginess of wrestling. Oh, but that's going to get rid of the kids. Damn the kids. Damn them. The hell with them. Those kids don't know anything about real damn wrestling anyway, man. They're doing that, 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 that. I mean, they're doing this. When Fandango comes out to the ring, oh, man, by the way, what the hell kind of name is Fandango? That, that's garbage, okay? It's corny as hell, man, you feel me? And, I mean, wrestling sucks, man, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's terrible, man, you know, John Cena, man, 
It's like, we are so damn sick and tired of seeing this guy, man. You know, I just gave up on wrestling. I gave up on it, you know, and oh my God, man. By the way, here's an interesting fact, and I'm going to get done with this video, okay, because I'm getting frustrated and mad as hell just talking about it, okay? Here's a fact. John Cena and Batista were going at it, okay? I think it was a 2009, 2010, 2008, somewhere around there. I'm not, I'm not I'm really sure. They was going at it, and Batista was the heel. And for you guys that aren't familiar with, you know, with wrestling terms, um, the heel is the bad guy. John Cena was the face, which was the good guy, okay? How the hell do you have a face of a company that's supposed to be the good guy, but they're still booing him? They're still booing his ass out of every arena. They are booing him. I mean, damn. I mean, the last time, the last time I checked, the face, which is a good guy, every time his music hits, people are supposed to love him. People are supposed to cheer for him. You know what I'm saying? People ain't supposed to boo the damn good guy. That goes to tell you, man, they don't like that guy. That dude sucks, man. Let's go Cena. Cena sucks. Everybody is chanting that. Excuse me for that loud car. People are chanting that. They can't stand John Cena, man. You know what I'm saying? And Batista even said up in this article, link will be down there, Batista even said that he actually had to go an extra damn step to make himself believable as a bad guy because people were booing the hell out of the good guy harder than they were booing the bad guy. God damn, what does that tell you? John Cena killed wrestling, man. At least I think, hey, at least I know I ain't the only damn one that's thinking about this, man. Actual, an actual professional wrestler that was in the business, Dave Batista, came out and said this. You guys don't believe me? The article will be down in the description box. I'm not freaking snorting. I'm not smoking. I'm not rolling up weed. I'm not rolling up blunts. I'm not, you know, I'm not taking heroin. I'm not on meth, okay? He actually said this. Link will be down here. Check it out. I'll catch you guys later. Sports you got up front of art. Please believe me. It's sports up in front of art. Just what you need. It's sports up in front of art. Okay, if you in the grieving, now please be seated for teachers for sports.